I'm not going to be long here, but I just have a uh, few questions for you. Uh, one being, do you watch Generations? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I always say that, you know, um, it just so happens that my life and my routine and the way I do things, I'm able to give, you know, uh, the fans kind of what they want. And one of those things is just staying in shape. I'm not staying in shape for them, but it's just, it happens as second, whatever, benefit. So, and then there's my son and whatever, what have you. So, uh, I would work hard uh, physically. I have to be in the gym. So, eight o'clock is not, uh, it doesn't help me, you know. What is it? Is it half past eight? You don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got to work out. I mean, I'm in, I'm in the gym. Uh, I'm in the gym uh, from five o'clock, six in the morning, and then that's my first session. I do like a bit of a cardio thing, and in the evening I go back. Uh, in the morning I'll do the most an hour. Later on, it's, uh, it's on average two hours, and I was, you know. Uh, focus on a specific uh, muscle group and then you know press and repeat the next day you know and then I've got my son he doesn't stay with me so I'm pick him up when I have time you know we, we, we do our thing and then sometimes he sleeps over um, and then I have you know uh, on, the, on my phone that is a car is calling me you know for, for whatever project and then I'm going you know, and then I'm working on that, and you know, I'm working on you know generations. So I think I, I just, yeah. But your son does he watch you on TV? Or? He's not supposed to watch me on TV. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I so mean, he doesn't I mean, know anything about Gaddafi. I, I meet. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my predicament. Mm -hmm. I I meet um, you know young kids from you know from schools. They do tours at uh, generations. And uh, you know they see me, and you see these little seven-year-olds, like babies, Gaddafi, 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 and I'm like baffled. How is why 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 do these kids know this character? Yeah, because you know the things that this guy does on TV. Um, you know, at some stage he was beating his wife, but like violently. Um, you know, I don't know pacing I'm sharp, like you say. Um, even Jack got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's he's brash. He's like you know he doesn't think and he's violent. Um, I'm sure if a feminist was to sit here, oh my gosh, I would feel like they're actually saying those things to me, you know. So uh, yeah, it's my son. He's he's only five, and I mean I'm concerned that twelve year olds know me. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I hear you. So tell me here. I I I went through your Instagram. Went through your Instagram. Don't go through that. <laughs> well, yeah. one of the things that I've 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 realized I've realized about you. I'll go to the next one. The things that you're doing on generations like there's not even one single thing there. That has to do with, with generation. How how does it happen? Because some people, soon as they get jobs, when they start to do something, it is flooded all over their social media. Like even with the event of today, I believe after this session, the first thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is to post pictures on social media with you, of course. Yeah. Um. First and foremost, I'm, I am an actor. You know. Um certain things I want to do. Maybe one day I'll gain weight and play, I don't know, Zuma, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or Chris Hani, or, you know. So I want to, like, I want to get in there and, and play other characters. I just recently played something on uh, Netflix, uh, Queen Sona. And uh, so I don't want people to, to be overly you know sort of that's that's that limit yeah I don't want them to be um, to associate me entirely with to that to, to, to tie me down to that well um, 
I want them to meet um, Sandu, you know, in, 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 in Prince Solo. I definitely want them to meet Dao with five fingers for myself. That's a hell of a character. Um, I want them to meet that they might my sort more unsung there's a series on, on SABC2 called Unsung Heroes. Uh, and then the, our particular story was about uh, Tate Masoto, Mona and Mino. You know, I met the guy, um, and, and he comes to me like fascinated like a kid. Now, this is like a legend <laughs> you will not believe. He's fascinated and he says to me, How do you do that? I said, What? How, how, do you, how do the tears just come out? How do you do that? He's fascinated, right? And I'm looking at this guy, I and mean, he fought against his own people and the apartheid regime. The apartheid regime telling him that a black child cannot learn violin and uh, play it well. You know, they don't have the capacity. And then his people saying, You're playing the, 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 the enemy's music. And then he, he was, you know, he, he stood in the middle there, kept his marriage. You know, when, when the government was trying to break up his marriage, and they had his wife, you know, they detained his wife so many times, abused her, and God knows what they did. And there he is, sitting there at home as a man, not being able to protect his wife. When men come into your house and then they just take your wife, you know. Um, now I'm looking at this guy, he says, how do you do that? This is insane, <laughs> you know. So I get to meet him. I try and play him, but when Gaddafi, you know, it's entertainment. But other characters have some them, something that you can, you know. So you kind of touch. We shouldn't, I think. Feel free to do whatever you want to do. I'm not the one to judge, but I'm just putting it out there for it. Let's try and look at the other characters that VFW has played and the impact and what they say. And that's, a, that's, that's kind of important for me. Wow. So, do you, because I know you are into fitness, okay. and when I follow you on Instagram, I keep on seeing um, your McGregor. Yeah, and yes. that, uh, Yeah, you know. Do you see yourself someday exiting the space of acting and going into maybe boxing or wrestling? Yeah. Um, um, look, I, I would probably do it on an amateur level, but still continue acting because, I mean, there are two things. It's hospitality and, 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 and storytelling that, 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 I, that I love. I, mean, I love to entertain, I love to cook, I love nice looking spaces and nice material. And, so, you can cook? You know, things that are nice, eh? Are you a good cook? Uh, I can... Well, I mean, not off the top of my head, but I can <laughs> replicate what I see. Okay. Well, yeah, I can definitely replicate what I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, last three things. Uh, Bruce Lee or Van Damme? Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Uh, Izo Izo or Generations? Izo Izo. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stay two different. <laughs> well, I mean, he must know that. Uh, you know, it's it's easy, easy that got me where, you know, I mean, Angus Gibson, I'm gonna watch, um, he, he just did a movie called Back of the Moon. Uh, he's got heavyweights there, Angus Gibson of Bomb Shelter. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the guy that, you know, I can, you know, I got a character to play that, uh, to play Tata Fly, the boxer. And uh, I was so excited, whoa, you know, they took me, by the way, because I looked more like a boxer than the other guy. There were two when guys. you still had Afro. When I still had the Afro, yeah. <laughs> but, man. So, so um, you know, I remember that sick feeling that I had, like that letdown. I mean, this is like the, one of the biggest TV shows. And I had been struggling, like, you know, to, you know. And now I'm like right at the threshold. I'm about to cross over. You know, South Africa is going to know me and whatever. And then that one thing, oh man, what if they give you a girlfriend? You have to kiss them. Now you are against kissing. And I remember going back to Angus Gibson. It just, 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 I just sat there. Like I was defeated. I was like, 
I can't eat. <laughs> says, why? Because, because, of, because I can't kiss and whatever. And then he looked at me and he says, okay. Um, I don't know if we will. I don't know. And then I went home, back to Pretoria. The longest journey. Mm -hmm. Like I had it and then yeah. and, and, and slipped up. And then he, I came, he called me, he says, come back. And then I got uh, to his office. And there was the girl that uh, Lorraine Pepe that plays uh, Mantua in the, in the series, uh, the third uh, season. And uh, I'm sitting next to my girlfriend, Robin. It's now what I suspected. And Angus says, uh, look, I really like you. Uh, so we will, whatever your belief is, we will sort of you know, let it happen in the story. And I said, I was like, whoa, this old, you know what I mean? So, I mean, he didn't have to do anything. He just, he, he could have let me go, you know? And, uh, but he didn't, he gave me the chance, you know? And, uh, and uh, yeah, so, I, easy, easy. Like, you know, easy. <laughs> yeah. Last, 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 last one. I know, I, I know that you, you are a fan of people. Yeah. Yeah, um, so Jay Z or Nipsey Hussle? Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah. 444 or which one? Hmm? 444 or which one? Black, Black Album. Album. Black Album. Yeah. Uh, Black Album. 444, Black... yeah. yeah. Four, four, four. Black Album did that album where he did the song with yeah. Last Man. Uh, no, 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 no. That's a. Uh... American Gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, he has a song with uh, with with Nas. Rock Boys, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but Black Album comes before that. Okay. Yeah. So in in the album Black Album, you say your favorite is Black Album. Uh, the, of all the of all, of all his uh, his work, mm. he's got a lot. He's got a big. He's got a body of work like proper. Mm. Uh, I say Black Album. Yeah. But 44, 44 is basically what he stands for. That's yeah, like the yeah. man he's become. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So also that one, on that regard, it's is it, is uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Nipsey's still coming up. <laughs> <laughs> they cut him but, short. But yeah, they yeah. They cut his uh, yeah. brilliant yeah, that's short. It. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But he was gonna be a Jay Z. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Both of them from like a hard sort of background, gangster. Mm -hmm. um, you know, hustlers, very smart, very ambitious. Yeah, I think he was going to get there. Yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, what, what, what scared me with, with generations, like I'm going back, is that how to portray a gangster, you know? But um, it hit me. It hit me, Hori. Listen. Um, what, whether I fail, I fail. That's fine. You know? Whether I fail, I fail. That's fine. But it would be such a weird thing to fail and you are not yourself. You can't live with that. You, when, you, when you are trying to be somebody else, and you're trying to imitate, but you fail at it, I don't think you can live with that. Personally, I don't think I would have been able to live with that. You know, I tried to be, you know, Cosmo or something, no. So I said, okay, I'm gonna fail standing on my feet. You know, like, you can, like, I've already respect myself. And I believe in myself as this person, you know. And I mean, I have, I had, the thing is, being ridiculed all this, these years taught me to, because when I was being ridiculed, I did not try to imitate anyone, you know? And I was not acceptable anyway. I had learned that I'm not acceptable anyway. They don't want me, they don't like me, you know? So I was comfortable, I was like that guy, you know? So there's nowhere else for me. That's personally me, I don't, I can't, I don't know if I'm helping you, but personally, I, there was nowhere else to fall, you know? So, the one thing was just to just be me, you know. If they don't like me, they don't like me, that's fine, you know. Um, yeah, 
So that kind of rejection for me, you're going, somebody's going to dislike you. It's fine. But they, they really did dislike you, not somebody that they, they don't have. Which is, what, why does that matter? You are yourself. They didn't take anything away from you. You know? You were brave enough to say, Nike, this is who I am. For me, I think that's how you get respect. That's why guys like Tupac, they, they, they will be alive forever. They will never die. Because they were just themselves. They were not afraid. Bob Marley, they were not afraid. Muhammad Ali, they were not afraid. You know, there's a thing with, Bob, with Muhammad Ali in boxing. They teach you to keep both your hands up. Keep your head protected. Keep yourself uh, protected at all times. That's like a mantra. This. He went against a guy who could knock him. When he became heavyweight champion of the world, he went against a guy who could knock him out with, with a jab. And that's difficult to do in the in, 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 in profession in, in a professional rank. That guy has that kind of power. He knocked the guy's teeth out with wearing gloves with a jab. He was a kid. He used to break bones for them for, 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 for gangsters. As a boxer, we see him as a boxer, but in the shadows, he's doing things for the mom. Muhammad Ali came from a family, a mother and a father and brothers. He was a child. I think he was 21 when he became, or 22, when he became heavyweight champion of the world. He faced that man. And the Bible of boxing says, protect yourself at all times. So what did Muhammad Ali do? I can't do this any other how. He, he kept his hands here. We know him. He never really did this. He kept his hands here. He only kept his hands up like this um, in, 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 in Zaire when he was fighting George Foreman. But then he had a different strategy. But then he went against all this amazing, this, like, the Bible of boxing you could say to you, life, society is telling you to behave a particular way and to be this particular person. But deep down you know yourself and you express yourself deeply and literally you're not robbing yourself but ultimately you are not robbing the world of all that wonderful thing that you are you know what i mean um you know people people say you know what's the problem why do people why do you say you don't want people to call you Gaddafi or you don't want people to uh, and I tell them listen before you loved me there were people who loved me when I was nothing you know and I just want to pay homage to them even though you guys are few here and so I feel like I stand for them you know um, I have become you say real that I have become this other guy, you know, that people expect. I mean, I had a guy walk up to me and I greeted him nicely, but he still wanted to chat to me. And then he grabbed my, he grabbed me like this and he's pulling me. So somebody wants to see you in a car. So I did not, I did not break, break, you know, I was not violent with him. I just looked him in the eye and asked him, what makes you think that you can touch me? You know? Because you don't know me. You might love the character, but you have no idea who I am. You know? I can safely say that if I lose everything, my family will be there. Because they've been there anyway. And they're the ones that named me for your double year. You know? So, every day I make it a point to say, I am for your double year. And I will try and tell you gently. And besides that, my people kicked Shaka's ass. You guys don't understand. Yeah. You know, he caught up with them in Mount Fred. There was a fight. And he gave up. He left. You know? And uh, so, I'm, as, as an older man, I'm learning to try and remember them. And uh, try and connect myself to them. Um, which makes me, I think, maybe an Africanist or whatever. Uh, listen, 
you know, um, I may have felt like I'm alone, but I, I listened, I paid attention to, uh, you know, my older brother, I listened, and my father, you know, though he was a you know, man he was, he had his principles as well. He passed them down to me, and I listened. And it, the, the reoccurring theme about me that, that, that I feel it's con one constant is that I listen. Like when I say listen, I literally, as a teenager, you feel like you're invincible, invincible, and you know it all. But like, you know, to deliberately go over that and ignore that and just kind of sit down and humble yourself. I remember arguing with this uh, one of my lecturers in, uh, in, in after. I was only there for a few months, one of my lecturers. And I got so angry, I said things. And then I stopped myself in the middle of the whole thing. And I said, oh. And then I started, apo I started apologizing to him. And then what I said to him, I said, listen, I feel passionate about what I'm saying. And I feel like this thing is wrong. But the way I spoke to you was incredibly wrong. Because where I come from, you don't speak that way with an older person. That's how I felt. I don't know if I would do the same now. I'm kidding. <laughs> but that's how I, you know, you see, what I'm saying is just listening, you know. Uh, because when you do that, you, you, you people will share you will be able to pick because now you're humble you you are able to pick things from people you are able to pick things if an actor does something or they say something you listen uh, so a lot of the times of generations to this day somebody will stop and say but you know do you do well, why don't you say it this way and sometimes it's not even an actor as a cameraman sometimes it's the other actor Sometimes it's like Rapulana there is talking and he's saying something and then he says, no, why don't you say it? And I, I have that ability to, to, to sit back and be like, okay. You know that pride, I, I have that ability to listen. And sometimes I don't listen at the time, but like for some funny reason, like I will drive home thinking about what was said, even by an enemy. Yeah, I'm able to formulate it and, and use it, you know. So I think I'm different from that guy because I've learned, you know, to listen. Um, but I can tell you personally, um, it's very simple. I know what it feels like, you know. I know what it feels like if a person comes in and they shout and they whatever. I know how it feels like, and I don't want the next person to do that. Um, I, I uh, to feel that way. Around you. Um, you know, even with my little boy, you know, I, I, I try to I try to be stern with him, but I don't want him to be scared. You know, I want him to understand why I don't want him to do something. But it's not I way when I don't do that. Or it's don't do this because of this and this and this and this. We have a conversation. Um because I, I don't want him to go through life. I don't want him to take himself, to have to take himself like I did. Um, I want him to thrive and to be great. There was one argument that I had with my wife at the time and uh, we were disagreeing and I raised my voice and at the same time I was like, whoa, what's going on, you know? And then I actually stopped myself at the time um, and then I started trying to reason and I kind of like sort of sit back and allowed her to speak. Um, so I think um, I, I genuinely as a person feel like I have no right to terrorize anyone and to make them feel less of themselves. You know, and I even know that if I try and do that, then it reflects a lot of weakness in myself. Um, I appreciate, you know, people who are powerful as well. And I've seen, you know, the constant thing about them is that they can control their emotions. 
and I feel like they are where they are because they can control their emotions. You know, so I want to get somewhere, so I learn to control my emotions when I deal with people. So I just, no one, no one has the right to uh, have people scared and whatnot. And I know that he, my father, grew up terribly as well. It was bad. You know, he had his demons, but it's okay. Yeah. But here's what I here's what I did, and then that's like later part of uh, like you know I'm a 42 year old like later part of my uh, 30s. I realized for a heaven now. Um, you, you believe in the devil, you believe in God. God says that you know I've given you this. The devil says no. Uh, listen, you, you you are not right here, you are weak, you are bad, you are bad, you are bad, you are bad. And then the reason they say, and my, 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 my ex-wife says this to my child, né? it's the same the dual things, né? they are against each other. The bad wolf and the good wolf, they are feeding. Né? This is the simplest thing to do, is to starve this one, the bad one. And let it be malnutritioned, let it starve, let it die. Feed this one and become stronger and bigger, right? So now when I look at my father, né? when I look at my father, I know he's an incredible human being. This, you know, that there's, when I look at him, I see this hero. There is no man whatsoever that can walk into that house when he's alive and threaten his family. And not many, not, not many men can do that. You know, some men will run out and leave the family there. My father, that's like the biggest mistake. And he's incredibly, at his best, he's incredibly gentle. To a point where, like, he will go inside the house and cook. Né? And that's not the best. But again, he can try it, you like it's like the best and then the other way when you do and like I can even taste it even now he makes that you know um, and he's intelligent and he's wise right if I miss son chances are that's that's my DNA you know chances are that that, that I'm brave chances are, chances are that I can cope no wonder I love hospitality and cooking and you know um, chances are <laughs> chances are you know what I mean I'm all these positive things so the, 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 the difficult thing is to go back and to look at the monster eh? that you know the devil may have said or the bad wolves may have won and to kind of revive this one the good one it's like it's it's it's, it's you know as you give life to it, it becomes stronger and stronger. And then that becomes you. You know, I remember I was so angry. I got Tupac uh, Machiavelli, the, the, the album. I was an angry man. I would listen to a song and then that's my, my life. You know, I would watch a movie and this character it inspires me and I'm dressing up like them. But it's usually the bad ones that inspire me. A violent whatever. So I took this CD and I broke it up and I dug a hole and then I put it inside the hole and then I covered it and I buried it. I think to have the kind of presence of mind at the time, it maybe it kind of goes back to me having the ability to listen because those things they come back. You've got to, you can't shut, you know what I mean? When you're in like a hole or a thing, or you're in a coma. Some people have said that they've heard people say, don't give up, don't give up. And they, they, they didn't give up because of that. Somebody kept on coming. And they're like, okay, I wanna, you know. And then they say, when I was in a coma, I heard your voice say, don't give up. I was in an accident and I couldn't feel and I was, when they were checking, I felt like I was, this person is dead, but somebody kept on saying, don't come back, you know, just don't give up, you know. So I think maybe that's that. But, uh, you know, work on the good wolf. Look at your father who you might think is a monster. Because like I said from the beginning, Hitler, baby, 
becomes Hitler, the man, you know? But there's the innocence, and I know if I say this in a room full of Jewish people, I might die. <laughs> but uh, the truth of the matter is we are born innocent. You know, your father was born innocent. I don't know what happened to him. But he certainly has these qualities that you don't know. Find out about the qualities, you will be finding out about yourself. You know, sometimes things, they lie dormant in your, in your psyche and you're not aware of, but then you've taken them, adopted them as the truth. Yeah? So I think at the end of the day, if you are that person that is always there, Jay-Z in one of his songs, he says, um, I am always there, you are never there. You know? And look at where he is right now, you know. So, I got to tell you again, you've got to just decide to just be there. I remember looking at, um, when I was supposed to do that, uh, and yeah, I am beat your Metro FM. Mm. I have never felt un is it unqualified. Ne? Yeah. Unqualified, I've never felt that way. I looked at the, 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 the audition sort of uh, uh, building where they were held, held holding the audition and I looked at it and I remember thinking, I can leave, I, I can go and no one will know. My brother had actually accommodated me, I was from Afrika. I can always just tell them that I was rejected, I did that, I can leave, I can go and then it felt like peace. But something at the back of my mind said, you're never gonna live with that, you know. And I was terribly, I was afraid, and I walked in, I, you know, did the audition, you know, freaking many, many, 20, 15 years later, I'm doing the same ad. Now I'm on Generations, I faced that fear. I found out that I took me from the volume auditioned, Quest auditioned for that day. Like, clearly I'm not suitable, I think. And I'm sitting there, so I, what, all I'm saying is I don't have the confidence at the time. It's not there, I'm not qualified. But just do it anyway. Like everything, even with generations, do it anyway. Like I explained to you my fears with generations, just do it anyway. And then now I know that I'm qualified. You know, when Gafis Olidika says, come and play this character, he's a badass. I'm like, okay, cool, that's, yeah, you know? You know? Like, I don't have it anymore, but I squeezed the fear out, I, you know? It's, it's a fight. You know, I wish I could give you an easier thing, but it's a fight. It gets easier if you fight, though. You know, if you don't fight, you stay in that place. You don't change. And if somebody said I was stupid and I was a piece of shit many times, then I've proven them wrong like you were saying. I've proven them wrong and I've proven myself wrong as well because I said I was not qualified. So self-esteem is a tricky thing, you know? Like I could wait to be confident and then Yes, I can do that and I can stand against Questa and whatever. However, at the time I am nothing. I'm like scared, I'm like, but then it's walking, walking, it's walking, you know. I do believe in self-esteem. I believe in that, I believe in confidence. I believe in the concepts that, you know, my sister was sharing. But I believe in that, with Halavan. I believe in that. But sometimes you get knocked down so many times that nothing matters. It's like you're there, you've been stripped there. What do you do? You know? And she could probably tell you the same thing as well because she was saying that she struggled with this thing, you know? But like, how do you like systematically break it down? I mean, she, I believe that she was able to do that. 
So if you don't, you've got to be engaged. You've got to go in. Then you will find out. Achilles and uh, Troy, you know, somebody kills his cousin thinking that they killed uh, Achilles. And then the final fight, he comes and he faces the guy, he's got a helmet on. And then he pulls it out and then he throws it to the ground. And then he says, now you know who you're fighting. You know, as a human being, you don't know. But if you fight, if they come again, now you know what, the, yeah, now they know now, you know? So I've got to blend in, you know what I mean? So I had to roll with the punches, you know? But like, I don't know how to swim, they threw me into the freaking ocean. Oh, good fighting, but because I want to live, I just have to fight, you know? There is absolutely, like right now you can be like, you can feel like I am at the lowest, I'm like nothing. You might feel that right now. But the most important thing is to go in there. But I'm not saying that go in blindly. You know, get the information that you need. You know, get the information that you need. If you want to be an actor, get the right information. If you want to you know, journalist, get the right information. Just get the right Once you have the right information, but the right information will not mean that you are confident. You are still the same person. The best thing is to now engage, fight. And uh, absolutely, um, being calm is like gangster. Being calm, uh, Bruce Lee says, be afraid of the calmest man in the room. You know, Denzel Washington, an American gangster, says the one that's the loudest is the weakest. You know, uh, so when they say to me, shout and do this, it's a cringe. Because they don't, they don't behave that way. <laughs> and they don't shout. Even Mandela, I mean, he, yeah. some show in world stage, he's sitting like this. Time, 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 like, you know, he's sitting like this. They ask him a question. Oh. <laughs> like, I'll be like, <laughs> like, I'll be moving up his, you know what I mean? Oh. And then he's just giving the answer, you know? And then, but he's calm, you know? And then initiation school, everything about what they say on soapies and some films about gangsters being, you know, is wrong. Manhood, even the process when they cut your skin, push. You're not supposed to squeal. Must be calm. I've never been there, but I can, you're supposed to chill. <laughs> You know? So that's manhood. That's like, for me, and when I saw them, when I said, when I told the story, it's forever like, that's, that's Gaddafi. That's what he should be. Like calm. And then when he explodes, people do not expect it. That's what gangsters want. They want you to be calm and gentle. But they know you know. So that is keeping you, that is disciplining you. That's calm. Dragon the Bruce Lee story says you can live a, a, a single day but face your fears and then you have lived. It's like a life of a triumph. But live a thousand years and you don't conquer your fears. And that life is a tragedy. You know? So now, it's not necessarily material that I'm judging. It's the way to the material that I judge. You know? I hear of guys who are willing to do things that women are supposed to be doing to men so that they can make money. You understand what I'm saying? You know? You know that? You know that? When I did the bless and everything. I know women who do that. You know? Of, of, who, who gain such of material through dubious ways. You know? A person who has material and they've worked for it. Listen, man, I cannot disrespect my older brother and say he's not successful. Because I know he's worked hard. I appreciate that. You know, so I don't judge the material. I judge the way to the, to the top. You know? So, if I tomorrow 
you start seeing me driving in a G wagon and a Porsche and whatever, and I had to sleep my way up there, then I do not consider myself into a successful. I will probably pull out a gun and shoot myself dead because I can't live with, I can't live like that. You know? So success is ultimately because you get these things, you win here first. Jay-Z won. And if you listen to his songs, Ned, it's like the, he's like prophesying. You know, Jay-Z, when you listen to his songs, and I can't, you know, think of um, some lyrics that talk about where he is right now. But if you listen clearly, and I'm willing to bet a thousand brands with you to prove me wrong, and I'll give you that thousand. Jay-Z talks about where he is right now. It's also Musaf is telling us, hey, as he started, that's where I'm going. And he says what I say. He says, the difference between us and them is that we just did not give up. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, for 44, we just did not give up. That's what he says about his life. So, Bible is right. The race does not go to the fastest or whatever, yeah. the smartest or whatever. It goes to the guy who's not willing to give up. You know, so... That's why I say success is conquering your self because the material comes after. It's like saying guns don't pe kill people. People kill people. So it's not the material that's bad. You know, it's all very, re very relative. You choose, I choose to buy Mercedes, you choose to buy, you know. You will spend money on like Johnny Walker. And then say, yeah, that guy was really Mercedes Benz. Who is that chair? But there's a guy who feels like, come on, man. I go roll like a viceroy. It's really expensive here. And he's right. It's all very relative. It's just, yeah. Wow. Let's give Mr. Buyo a hand. Ramoma Felong, I feel it. Thanks, my brother, for coming. I, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, just a few remarks. The Lord and I am like, wow, this is... <laughs> so, as an individual, like being here today, spending spending your time with us, being in this space, I just, I just, I just want your, your, your remarks. Yeah, man, I'm... Um, like I said, I can never... I can always just be me and be and and, and 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 I don't know if it's domination or whatever. Or it's when I'm me, then I'm fulfilled and I can really live in my space. Uh, but I said something about not ever being you, you know. And I feel like you know the the force and the tenacity and the smarts. The ability to bring this together, for me, um, I rest my case because I'm not that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I think um, I think you think I'm great at what I do, but you are able to organize this thing, and I'm here. I'm sharing. My brother shared. My sister shared. It's a team. It's a team. Your strengths brought me here. I could never do this. It's a team. So, you know, as 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 as, as young South Africans, maybe that's what we need to start looking at. Because apparently the Indians are doing it, the Jews are doing it. And they had, you know, the Japanese, they had Hiroshima completely almost obliterated. Look at where they are now. Superpower. The Jews, they have Hitler. Look at where they are now. They control the world. Africans, where are they? Indians, where are they? Honestly, when you look at Africans, we are nowhere to be found. So, today is happening. You are able to, if you like me, you want to take pictures. It happened. You are able to do that because of his strength. 
I handle my bit, you saw me, you like me, he handles his bit, now we're here. It's a team.